How you doing guys? Welcome back, it's LSP. It's currently the 29th of December, 2021. So today I'm gonna to be talking about Rheumatic UGC. Uh, for full disclosure, I am invested in Rheumatic, but as always, this isn't financial advice. So I've done my due diligence. I'm very confident in the project. And I just wanna make that very, very clear, you know, that when I look into something, I really break it down. And I like what Rheumatic is doing. I like what they're, you know, pr promoting and what they're presenting going forward. I love their roadmap. And it makes sense to me, as I said in the previous Rheumatic video that I did with the slideshow, um, you know, that, when you have a, a token that is, you know, mixed with business in terms of commercial and government business and the way that they're presenting themselves as a company, that makes sense to me because it's something that is familiar to me. So we're going to play a little game. All right. Do we really think about the future of a project? Yeah, there's a lot of people that DM me. I speak to so many people on a daily basis and, and I love communicating, getting ideas from people, understanding, you know, how they think about their investments, their projects that they're invested in and so on. But the general consensus across all of the people that I've spoken to, bar none, um, is generally validation. People come to me and they trust my opinion, which I greatly appreciate, but they come to me and they ask a question like, what do you think of rheumatic? You know, well, I think it's great. How does that change your idea or perception of, of your investment now? You know, uh, ultimately, we have to be able to look at the investments that we're in, you know, in a year's time, five years down the line, 10 years down the line. And what is that going to look like for us as investors? Right. We're not invested in something. I mean, now some people are invested because they just want to quick, you know, just want to make some quick money and move on. Again, nothing wrong with that. I've done that myself in the past and it's a viable trading strategy. But what does being invested in, say, rheumatic, for example, mean for these people, mean for me? You know, how is that going to change my life in a year's time, in five years time? And what could that potentially look like? You know, obviously we have the reflections. Is this sustainable? There are utilities that will make the reflections yeah, sustainable. The growth, obviously it has massive growth potential, just as many other projects do. But growth is dependent on a lot of different things. You know, the token itself and what they're presenting and promoting within their roadmap, as long as they continue to follow through on the promises that they make, then the growth will be very, very good for Rheumatic. But again, what does that look like for me? Yeah. If I'm holding an investment in Rheumatic and I'm watching that investment grow, I'm watching my reflections coming in, dividends are coming in from investments that are made through Rheumatic LLC, the utilities are bringing volume into you know um, the, the ecosystem, which again are increasing reflections, okay? All of that for me looks very good in a year's time. I may very well in a year's time be sitting on a sizable amount of money, reflections coming in, that are complementing and you know the my income, okay, and allowing me to, for example, put some money aside to help somebody else or put some money aside to invest in another project and so on. So I think about all of these things going forward. You know, I I, I want to know what that picture looks like for me in a year's time, five years time, ten years down the line. So when we look at reflections, okay. And when I say here, what could this look like for me? I just mean in general, if you're reading this, it's you, right? What does this look like for you? And this is any reflection token. Today we're discussing rheumatic, obviously, but what does having a passive income look like? Remember, if you go back 20 years, having a passive income was very rare, you know, unless you're invested in property or looking, you know, to, to put your money into the stock market, for example, or in a fund, to have passive income, you know, um, being generated by these these investments, not a lot of people understood or, or or had access to a passive income. Whereas nowadays, this is what's so incredible about the crypto space. Anybody can jump into a, a reflective token, for example, and start to earn immediate reflections. Yeah, this is huge. This is massive, right? This is not something that is a you know a small thing. You can invest in something with a very small amount of money. Watch that money grow over time and watch your inflection, you know, watch your, your, your reflections grow as well. But again, what does that look like in your daily life, in your monthly life, in your yearly life? And what could that look like in a year down the line? If you're making £10 a day, £20 a day, £30 a day, any of these numbers on the screen, what does that mean for you? For me, if I was making an extra £10 a day, yeah, 
on reflections, that's seventy pounds a week, and that's money that I can you know maybe give to my wife. She can go shopping, or I can buy a takeaway, or I can treat myself to a steak, or go out, give the money away. It's money that I can do something with. And the more you have, the more reflections you you know you get. And the larger the reflection, the more you can make a difference or make a change, whether it's in your own life or in the life of somebody else, right? But again. The main focus is to really put this on you and and to say, what does that look like for you? I know personally that there are, well, I said said it wrong. I know personal investors, you know, who I speak to, good friends of mine who have, you know, um, reflections coming in, quite sizable reflections, you know, and for them, that means they can basically buy more toys. You know, some people want to buy more toys. They want to buy, you know, a better car. And having this reflection coming in, for example, is a monthly payment. Um, but again, we can go into many, many different examples. But the most important example is yours. What does it look like for you? You know, and going a little bit more deeper into this, when you take the focus off the reflection, and put it on what the reflection can do for you, you start to realize that moving in and out of projects, you know, or um, taking money out of an investment that you're in, that you believe in, and you believe will grow, doesn't make sense. The idea is to have a sustainable reflection coming in that can be sustained, you know, and when you start to mess around with projects, pulling in, pulling out, moving money around, again, it's a viable strategy. I know people who do it, but me personally, I like to be in something and I just want to watch it grow. I want to switch off and I want to watch it grow. And then I focus on the project. I don't focus on the reflections. I don't focus on the dividends and the payments and all this stuff. I focus on the project because if the project is doing well, by default, the investment will be doing well. Okay. So have a think about this. Now, the other thing is, what do you really want from your investment? You know, and I've only listed a few things here. Change. Are you looking to change something in your life? Again, the ability to start with very little now, you know, and have that grow into something that could be quite sizable is a lot more doable in this day and age than it was 20, 30 years ago. Okay. So some people just want change. They want to change their circumstances. They want to change their life. They want to change something, you know, from what it is already. And again, change is a good thing. You know, being able to have an investment right that affords you the ability to see that change in your life in a positive way is an amazing thing. You know, it's not something that was available, you know, like I said, 20, 30 years ago, or at least not as not as easily available or readily available, you know, to everybody. Whereas nowadays you can jump in and out of whatever you want, you know, and and potentially, you know, make some some decent money. But again, Just as a quick reminder, there are insane scams out there and people are getting scammed daily in the hundreds of thousands. Okay, so we have to be mindful that the projects that we're in are solid, fulfilling their promises, the team is fully doxxed, the team is doing what they're supposed to be doing, and the community is positive and the community is being rewarded for their investment. This is the most important thing, to make sure that the community is being rewarded for their investment and their time that they're putting into, you know, the investment or project that they're in. So again, some people just want change. Some people want money. Okay. Money is important. Yes. It's not the defining factor in some people's lives, but in other people's lives, it is. It's their measurement of success. Being able to measure their success in money for them means, you know, they are much more successful than they were maybe a year ago or five years ago. You know, so for some people, money is very, very important. You know, passive income. This is a word that is thrown around the industry, you know, uh, and has been for many, 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 many years, you know, um, and passive income is something that, like I said previously, wasn't always available to everybody. But nowadays, it's something that can be done relatively quickly. You just, even if it's a very small amount, you throw something into a reflective token that you believe in, boom, you're making reflections. You know, that's, that's a, that's a big thing for me. So, you know, people are looking to position themselves and invest in projects that are good enough to last and then pay a passive income in the future as well, sustainably, to sustainably give you money in your account daily or weekly or monthly, you know, and it be sustainable and be there for a year, two years, three years, five years down the line. Okay. Some people want freedom, you know, the ability to be able to 
move away from whatever it is that they're doing now to have more freedom to do the things that they really, really like to do or really love to do. I'll give you an example in my life. I love my work, okay? But because I also love content creation and I love to do, you know, um, videos on charts and you guys see what I'm like, I absolutely love this stuff. Again, I have for the last 26 years. When, for me, I, in, in terms of everything you see on the screen, for me, Having more money, having a more, you know a larger passive income gives me the freedom that I want to be able to create more content, you know, and then the cycle starts again. All right. So I am slowly transitioning from my work to, you know, being a full content, a full time content creator and being able to educate people in the crypto space is one of my, you know, one of my goals. And this allows me to do that. So the point being, I really think about all of this before I put money into an investment. Is this investment going to bring me closer to my goal or push me further away from my goal? And that may seem like an odd thing to say, because why would you invest in something that you believe is going to bring you further away from your goal. The problem is because we don't do the due diligence to start with, and we don't really focus in on what we're trying to accomplish and look at the project properly, we end up being in things that make no sense, but we don't realize that until later down the line, okay? For some people, they just want to scratch that itch, you know. Um, there are a lot of gamblers in this industry. I say industry, it's not really an industry, it's in this space. There are, you know, there are a lot of gamblers in this space, and unfortunately, there will always be no matter what we say, no matter what, how much we try to help, no matter how, you know, how many times people say it, there's always going to be people out there that are just looking to scratch the itch. They just want to be in something because they want to see those numbers grow. They want to see pretty lights. They want to jump in on the hype, you know, um, and I will say it in this way. I've tried over the years to, you know, um, help a few people who have this problem, you know, this gambler's mentality and they just want to kind of, I want to be a millionaire. You know, they, they read a story or they see an article, some, young kid, you know, who's driving around in a Lamborghini. I don't even know why it's a Lambo. Why not a Seat? Why not, you know, a Ford? Why is it always a Lambo, right? And I know Lamborghini is a beautiful car, yes, but, you know, there's also other beautiful cars out there, right? So all this when Lambo stuff, it drives me crazy. But I've spoken to many people and I've tried to, you know, to, to really get into their heads and say, look, you know, do you really want this for your life? Do you really want to just keep trying to scratch this itch, you know, instead of being in something that's going to make a difference in your life? All right. So anyway, I digress. The point, like I said, is the project itself is what matters. I, I, I talk about this quite a lot. Focus on the project and the money will take care of itself. So with all of this said, and some of the things that I've discussed today, I just wanted to kind of have a think about promoting something in a way that gets you thinking, what does this look like for me? How is Rheumatic going to look in five years time? You know, and what does that, what does that mean for you in your life? You know, if you're invested in Rheumatic, for example, and it flourishes, it grows, things are going well, Rheumatic LLC are invested in many, you know, many different projects. Those projects are bringing in dividends. You know, you have the reflections coming in. You've got the voting utility that's doing its thing. You have merchandise that's doing its thing. And all of this stuff is something that we are ultimately a part of and will be rewarded for being investors. What, what does that look like for you in a year, five years and 10 years down the line? And with that said, guys, I hope everyone's having an absolutely fantastic day uh, and looking forward to the new year. And I will speak to you guys very soon. All the best.